learning public speaking is just like learning maths. Now there are three ways we used to learn maths in school or college. Just go back on your memory lane. There are three types of students even in maths. Type 1. They select certain problems from textbook and they practice. They practice same problem several times. Remember? Same problem. And we pray that this problem should come in the exam. So if it comes, I'm very sure I will get full out of our full marks. Out of. Type 1 student. Type 2 student are those students, they are not very focused on problems. They are very focused on theories, theorems, formula. Their basics are very clear. And first, they clear their basics. And any problem they have in their front of them, they apply those formulas, theories, and theorems. But very few like this, at least. I have seen very few like this, but there are people like There are students like this. So type 2. Type 3 students, they don't study only. And if you ask me, Praveen, out of this type 1, 2 and 3, you belong to which class when I was a student? In 9th standard, type 3. I never used to study. So I failed in 9th standard in English and Maths. In 10th standard, at least I was type 1 where I selected few problems. So I worked hard and I passed in first attempt 10th standard. How much? 37 in Maths out of 100. Well, ladies and gentlemen, do you agree that is this the right way of learning maths? You also know what is the right way of learning maths. The right way is the second one. What is the second one? Learn the theories, theorems, formulas. Get the basics clear and then apply. Same in public speaking also. In public speaking, sometimes people, they prepare the script. A presentation they say that tomorrow I have a presentation and this is the presentation I have to deliver and they practice that they try to memorize that that is one way of doing it another way of doing it learn the techniques and methods of delivering your presentation and speeches example the techniques and methods to start your presentation the techniques and method to end your presentation the techniques and methods of how to organize your core content, the container theory, there's something called power of three, the various techniques and methods to organize and deliver your content in such a way so chances of people understanding you is very high. So when you learn the techniques and methods, no matter on what you have to speak, you are just applying the techniques and methods. So when you are sitting in the exam, no matter whether you have solved this problem or not, because you know the techniques and methods, you apply those techniques and methods there. Same in public speaking also. But unfortunately, when I open my eyes, and I'm very careful using this word unfortunate, many of us in the school of life are behaving like this student number three or type of this kind of students where he's not even learning maths not even learning public speaking skills and without learning public speaking skills this person is expecting that he will go on the stage and speak effectively did you expect that from yourself when you have not learned maths throughout your life and you're going inside the classroom in the examination room and ah, solving the problem after problem after didn't happen like right? that was your dream or illusion that's an unfair expectation and you know you're never able to match that expectation you always have that fear in your mind if you have not practiced well ladies and gentlemen first thing you have to understand if you're that kind of student in school even I was like that only it's absolutely okay how much you have got in school in maths but it's not okay the way you are treating public speaking right now if you are treating like this they're not even learning or even just memorizing your presentation or script the only way if you really want to speak effectively in front of people is learn the techniques and methods get your theory clear get your theorems clear get the formulas clear now probably why we should do all this only for one reason ladies and gentlemen look around look around Everyone who is speaking effectively is growing exponentially in life. What do you mean by speaking effectively? Not beating your chest and telling the people, I have done this, I have done that. Not that. 
even if you work hard in your life you will grow but when you start sharing the learnings from that work hard with the world you will thrive you will grow exponentially if you want to become a leader you have to separate yourself from the crowd stand alone and speak so make sure it's absolutely okay what happened in school but in the school of life take this subject very seriously what is your view on this this is pranav kasaining out until we meet again